Hey everyone, this is Shreyas and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be a speed test and performance comparison between the OnePlus 10 Pro and the Pixel 6 Pro. Now both these are a bit different and technically the Pixel 6 Pro is almost a generation old at this point although it launched just about 6 months ago. OnePlus 10 Pro flexes the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor over here but in this queue I have 8GB of RAM only and 128 GB of storage whereas on the Pixel 6 Pro it defaults at 12 GB of RAM from the base variant itself. So in this particular video I won't be doing a RAM test. Now I will be comparing these two devices in detail in a separate video so make sure you're subscribed for that and if you like this particular video make sure to hit like subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. With that said this is Shreyas and let's check that out. Alright, so these are the apps I'm gonna be testing out. There's the CPU throttling test, the 3D Mark test for the GPU, Geekbench for an overall score, speed test for checking whose network is faster, and so on. And these are few of the regular apps I use, so I thought let's see how it launches and how fast it is. And apart from that, we have two heavy apps which are the games which take approximately a higher load time. Now first things first, let's see how fast they reboot. So let's just... Alright, so let's quickly hit reboot first and see which one restarts faster. 3, 2, 1. Cool, so the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is kind of a hot processor although it has more capabilities but a lot of phones are having difficulties in managing the heat inside the particular phone. So that will be a challenge in the throttling test for the OnePlus 9 Pro but it might score higher. Another thing with the OnePlus 10 Pro is that it has two modes. It has a high performance mode which removes all the software throttling which might be done for some specific apps. Now we can clearly see the Pixel 6 Pro has loaded a lot faster than the OnePlus 10 Pro. So that's something that has to be noted. Alright, so let's see the app opening test first because the CPU throttling test and all these benchmarks will take some time. So stay tuned till the end of the video if you want to see it. So let's get started with the app opening times first. Let's do one more thing. Let's just see the RAM over here and just clear all. So now there is another thing over here that OnePlus actually has a mode where it keeps a few essential apps in memory. Now let me try and see if I can unlock these apps so that we can actually test the exact launch times for these apps. Now, now the RAM is completely clear in both of these phones. So let's start with my regular apps. First is YouTube Music, 3, 2, 1. So it's slightly faster on the OnePlus 10 Pro. Now Google Home, 3, okay. Slightly faster on the Pixel 6 Pro in this case. Let's go for Twitter. It's almost the same time, the app launches launched a bit fast, but the content in the screen was almost at the same time. Next is Instagram almost at the same time i could not really spot a difference comment down below if you did snapchat okay so in this case it might seem that it opened late but actually the rear camera was open so that's the only difference let's go home now we have amazon then prime video and almost at the same time let's open the play store this was slightly faster but I don't think I'll call it a draw because it's neck and neck. Netflix almost at the same time. YouTube almost at the same time. Content loaded almost at the same time. Now the two heavy apps Asphalt 9. Okay, so the Pixel 6 Pro was slightly faster. Now I am using the same account on both the devices. That's why it's showing me this error but otherwise oneplus 10 pro was pretty close as well let's go back home let's open call of duty over here okay as of now the pixel 6 pro is in the lead let's see the loading screen over here almost at the same time and okay wow both almost opened exactly at the same time so that's surprising. 
Now let's go into the benchmarks. First we have Geekbench. So these are the scores actually that I found. Now on the Pixel 6 Pro you can clearly see that the single core score is really high. But on the multi-core score, the 10 Pro just goes ahead by almost a thousand points which is a huge margin to be very honest. Not just that, I was really suspicious why the single core score is so low. So what I did was uh, the OnePlus 10 Pro has a special mode. Uh, so if you go into battery settings and go into advanced settings, you have something called as high performance mode. Now you do get a pop-up saying that it'll run at high performance so it will affect the battery consumptions and the heat as well. So the phone did get a bit warmer but when I did the Geekbench run again, you can see over here how the single core uh, score just shoots up. Now the thing is that the multi-core score does not increase by a lot but I guess this is where it's being held back uh, when it's running in the regular mode and it easily surpasses the tensor chip on the Pixel 6 Pro. So that's about Geekbench. Now let's go back to 3 Mark. Now I did a, a couple of runs over here. So this was again since we have the performance mode that's why I did the two runs. You can see the individual scores over here. The 8 Gen 1 just, you know, flies by the Pixel 6 Pro's tensor chip. So not just that, when I went into performance mode, the GPU score did not really see such a high spike. Now, I let the phone cool down over here and then uh, run the benchmark, but still the score difference wasn't a lot. It was just 15 points. Now the next thing was the CPU throttling test. So yeah, going coming to the CPU throttling test, I did a 20 thread load for 15 minutes. This were the results on the 6 Pro and the 8 Gen 1. These were the results. So over here, you can see that the CPU throttled over here till 58%, which is poor, definitely. Uh, over here, it went down only to 69%. Nice. The performance you can see over here, uh, the minimum, maximum and the average. The average is way higher on the 8 Gen 1. Not just that, I actually immediately pushed it to high performance mode. Now this particular score was with the high performance mode because of which you can see a lot more dips because it's trying to push higher. The highest score over here is 300,000. So obviously this gets beaten easily. But over here you can see the max score isn't as much. The performance average is pretty good and the throttling is very minimal. In the initial reviews, we saw how the HN1 in the 10 Pro is not really performing as great as other phones. If you disable high performance mode, it is quite stable in comparison. Now that's the good part. It never goes into the red section. It maintains uh, a very steady performance for the longest period of time and only at the end for last probably a couple of minutes is when it goes down significantly. So overall the chip is handled pretty well but again these are benchmarks take these with a pinch of salt because even last time oneplus was accused of you know trying to throttle their apps regularly but pushing it higher when it detects few benchmarking apps now i don't think there's something wrong with it because these processors are really capable they can push performance to a large extent but it comes at the cost of heat generated and battery life as well so if a certain app like Instagram requires only 5% or 10% resource. I don't mind my smartphone being smart enough to detect it, throttle it down so that my energy consumption and heat produced for that particular purpose is low. Now that problem did reflect in the OnePlus 9 Pro when it initially released but was covered up with a couple of patches very soon in a couple of weeks as far as I remember. But with the 10 Pro with Oxygen OS 12.1, this is the difference that you see. Now that's been it for the speed test between the Pixel 6 Pro with the Google Tensor chip or a version of the Exynos 2200 and the OnePlus 10 Pro with the new latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, get notified so that you don't miss out my full review for this OnePlus 10 Pro. And I will be making a dedicated uh, comparison between the Pixel 6 Pro in all of it its other aspects and compare it to the OnePlus 10 Pro. So thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.